Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks for joining me today. Um, today I am creating a card using some visible image stamps. And the stamps that I'm going to be using, the main stamp set that I'm using is called Create It, and it is this first stamp. It's almost like an add-on stamp set. It has a bunch of smaller stamps, um, but I think it works perfectly um, on their own on a card. And then I'm going to accent that with the miscellaneous stamp set and then the taking the sentiment from lost for words and then one of my favorite stamp sets because it has these scripty words in it is called scripted streets um, the inks i'm going to be using are some lavinia elements inks in truffle mermaid and pine and i'm going to stamp these images up in some versifying claire nocturne um, and the reason i really love this stamp set is because um, you can add these little elements to other stamp sets that you have or you can use them um, on their own, which is what I'm doing with this card today. So I'm creating sort of like a fracture, um, and I didn't realize until I was actually going through and editing this video how perfect these little fracture pieces would be to make a entire background kind of like a broken, cracked background. Um, that would be really cool. Maybe I'll try that later, but I think that'd be a really cool idea for these stamps. I really love these fracture stamps. I just think they um, add something awesome to <laughs> the card. Um, but I'm taking basically all of the flowers and both of the little fracture stamps and just filling that um, card panel up sort of towards the right hand side. But uh, moving up towards the left hand side the further I go across the card panel and this card panel is a piece of Bristol smooth cardstock I wasn't sure how much water is going to use on it which is why I chose to use the Bristol um, but I don't actually end up using too much and then once I have all of the elements of that main background piece I'm going to go ahead and take that scripted streets stamp set and of course use the um, beautiful uh, scripty writing and I'm just going to dip that into the uh, Versifying Nocturne and add that in several areas around the card and then I'm going to take my um, ink blending brushes and I'm starting out with the pine in the Lavinia ink and then I'm going to go in with the mermaid uh, a little bit around the edges around the outside of the pine which is that green color and then um, really super easy blending. I'm not worried about getting any ink on the flowers. I do end up coloring those, but you can't tell that there's ink on them. And so I'm not worried about masking them off um, or anything like that. Um, and then once I have that first layer of ink down, I'm just gonna splatter it with a little bit of water from my spray bottle and then let that sit for about 10 seconds and then take my paper towel and blot up those um, marks. And then I didn't like the <laughs> how blotted it was and so I went back in with the ink again and kind of covered that up a little bit you can kind of see it peeking through which I think gives it a cool effect but um, I didn't want it quite so bright with those white spots and then I'm using the truffle color which is a little bit of a brown color and I first started in with my blending brush and I didn't get really the effect that I wanted so I went ahead and grabbed a finger dauber and went around the edges as well and I am just taking a little bit of water here with some paint, a paintbrush and moving the um, ink on the edges as well. But I do go around one final time, uh, just getting the edge nice and brown. I really love the contrast of that little bit of brown um, surrounding the green and the blue. And then I'm going to pull out one of my favorite pastes. This is the Finnabar paper paste. Just putting a little bit down on my mat. And then I'm gonna take this stamp from the miscellaneous stamp set and if you're not comfortable doing with this, um, you can always grab a stencil or something else that has texture. Um, but I thought I would go ahead and just use this stamp and just press it into that texture paste and then press that onto the card. Just gives us a slight bit of texture, a little bit less than a stencil, but uh, really easy to apply. And this uh, wiped up really easily. I just took it in the kitchen and um, cleaned it off with a little bit of soap and water and it came out nice and clean as you can see so I will be able to use it again I did not ruin my stamp of course you don't want to leave that paste or anything sitting on your stamp um, but I went ahead and washed that and it cleaned up really nicely and then to color up those flowers I grabbed my Tombow markers and I am using numbers 725, 676, and then I bring in 757 so they're uh, kind of shades of 
pink and purple and I'm just doing some really super simple coloring. I am just coloring in the lines. I'm not worried about adding, really adding any dimension or anything um, as far as shading or anything like that goes. I'm just basically coloring in the lines and that is it. Um, and then after I've done that, I'm gonna take my white Posca pen and just make a bunch of little dots on all of those flowers. I also took a little bit of white ink and black ink and added a little, some splatters on the background. I also added the sentiment that says you got this in, that is from the stamp set Lost for Words. And then to finish the card off, I'm taking a Stabilo All, and this is a black graphite pencil, and it is also water soluble. So I'm going around some of those little fissure areas um, and adding a little bit of that pencil and then taking a paintbrush with a little bit of water on it and moving that around to try and create a little bit of depth in some of those um, fissures. And that'll do it for this card. This was a really fun card to make. I hope that you liked watching this video as much as I liked creating it. Um, if you did like this video or find it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. As always, I love reading your comments, and um, that is it for me. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me, and I hope to catch you next time.